You're watching FemVids, I'm Sean Rolls, and I'm off Lip Sports. Why would I tell people that? Well, basically because we had some of the most interesting guests in our community media center recently. On the 3rd of September, we had four of the Training to Be team members, and I believe all of them may have actually made it into the official Fijiana Rugby Sevens team, that is the women's team. So we had four team members who were training twice a day, and all sorts of stuff and we're super into the sport and I for one barely understand the bare minimum when it comes to sport okay um, one goal is five and if you convert the try it's seven points it's the 15 14 minute game it's our national sport okay interesting thing number one TFL only recently sponsored the team and beforehand the Fijiana women's rugby sevens team had no sponsorship they had very little news coverage and the only reason why they actually started getting news coverage from watching and waiting for news to happen to women in sports it wasn't until TFL actually came on board and they actually were able to do stuff and do stuff visibly but the good thing is as much as we may dislike the way the system works them sponsoring this team meant that they were able to afford boots they were able to afford transport food actually go into camp actually make sure they have a trainer actually make sure that they can get jerseys and shorts and go to the place to do all the sports things it's important invest in our people um, more specifically invest in our national sport I mean if a whole half of your country is disallowed from playing the sport then who's actually enjoying the national sport interesting fact number two I believe that earlier that day when they actually came in to see us when they were having training they were jeered at by a couple of boys and I say boys they might have been men um, but how did they actually deal with this kind of thing? They completely brushed it aside. It's a non-issue for them. They don't care. And, and to quote, we know our value. So when people know that whatever other people say doesn't actually matter as long as you know what you're doing is right, that's an incredibly important lesson for other people to take away. I mean, we can have a whole bunch of either political or social discussions, but until the end of the day that people value themselves and know what their worth is, that they can set an example, and particularly a productive example. They're not going to yell back at them and say, hey, we know our worth. they just like, hey, you know, we're not going to entertain this, but we're just going to ignore it because it doesn't matter. Yay! And the final interesting thing is some of the stories were really, really cool. I mean, from one end of the number of girls on our couch we had a woman who had four children two girls and two boys and after she had her kids then she picked up rugby and on the other side of the couch was you know this very soft-spoken young woman who had been playing rugby in her village like at school since she was running around and playing at school very early on and to continue to do that because it's something that you enjoy and are engaged in and the possibility of that becoming a career for these people it's so important that people can live their dreams and know that they're contributing a whole bunch of people can say what are we actually getting out of sports well we're getting role models we're getting people that should be exercising good health and that is something we desperately need as a region but also as a world and it's just nice so um, the full interview is available online and the link for that is in the description and I hope you have a great day. I've been Sean Rolls, you've been amazing, this has been another FemVid, thanks for watching.